I'm Alicia Wright from Wisconsin, and I've been visiting India for the past few years. Yoga for me, it serves as a stress reliever, and it's really helped me balance my mental and physical health. I've been following the Yoga Day momentum here in India from the beginning, when Modi first announced at the UN General Assembly the idea for International Day of Yoga. These days in Delhi, it's everywhere. It's been on social media. There's billboards all across the city advertising the event, and the news is definitely talking about it. So the government wants to break the world record for the most people practicing yoga in one spot. But this event's not without controversy. So there's religious minorities that fear their rights are being infringed. Maybe it's a propaganda ploy by the government. Uh, there's also this issue of the intellectual right to yoga. Uh, but since I'm here in Delhi, I want to go check out the event and see if I can participate. We arrived at Rajput by 5 a.m. Uh, security was really high. We hit barricades everywhere. There were lots of security checks and armed men around. So inside the event, participants, they sat ordered on the lawns in the street. And by the time I got all the way inside, I found out I didn't have the right pass to actually participate in the yoga. So for me, I was just able to sit on the side and watch the speeches and watch the other people practice. Prime Minister Modi gave a speech about how yoga can unite people, and after that he actually came forward to participate in yoga. I couldn't imagine so many people doing yoga in one spot, 35,000 people. For such a crowd though, it was pretty well organized. There were large LCD screens that lined the way so anyone could see the yoga poses that were being performed and follow along. Some of the people I saw that were getting set up on the yoga mats and actually doing the practice were uh, members of the Indian Army, members of the police force, uh, people who worked for the government. They'd also organized school kids and university students to come to the event today. The entire road leading up to the president's palace and the lawns beside it were just filled with yogis. People outside the event who didn't have passes started to protest. They thought the government had advertised this as an open event and were really disappointed that they couldn't uh, be involved. The yoga practice was over in about a half hour. People were really excited about the day. Inside, the atmosphere was carefree and calm. And when we left and walked through the streets, everyone was smiling and talking about how excited they were to come to participate. It's been a pleasure. I really, I really feel amazing. This has been peaceful. And I really like, I've enjoyed it a lot. Thank you very much, India. Thank you very much. Over 190 countries participated today, and I saw posts on social media all day about it. So I read this morning that India did set the Guinness Book of World Record for not just the most people practicing yoga in one spot, but also for the most nationalities represented in one yoga class, 84. Controversies aside, I think the idea of International Day of Yoga can be a good thing. I had a great time at the event yesterday, and I hope in the future I can participate.